Man, what's going on my ASVAB party people? Anderson here, your ASVAB coach. Let's go ahead and get to it. Right now, we're gonna be doing mental math with all four operations, and here's why this is important. When you think about mental math, you wanna think about this as the foundation to everything that you're gonna do. Why? Well, think about it like this. When it comes to word problems on the ASVAB, those are hard enough as they are, right? Those are hard enough as it is. And so when you think about how much time it takes to plan, you know, you have two minutes per question. Imagine this, just take a second to imagine this. If you have two minutes per question, and let's say it takes you about a minute and a half, maybe a minute 40 seconds, to really truly figure out a good solid plan that you know is gonna work, okay, great. But guess what now? Now you have 20, 30, 40 seconds to calculate, and you gotta do that as quickly as you can, under pressure, under timing, right? So here's the thing. If you know your mental math, if you know how to calculate confidently and quickly and effectively, the great benefit is that you can take more time to plan. If you don't know how to calculate confidently and it takes you about a minute to calculate, well, that means you only have a minute to plan. So that's the great thing about mental math. It gives you more time. So it's not a matter of, oh, I know how to calculate. No, it's a matter of, can I do it without hesitation? Can I do it so decisively that it gives you more time to plan because you know that once you got the plan down, you're good. You can calculate very quickly and you can move on with confidence. That's what mental math is all about and that's what this video is about. So with that said, let's go ahead, let's get started on this mental math, my party people, starting with the first one here. I'm gonna start with arguably what a lot of people think is the hardest one. So I'm gonna zoom on in just a little bit here because I'm gonna blow your mind. So let's say we have 49.99 plus 34.99. Very common topic in the real world, right? Very common. You're dealing with money. And so how can you do this in your head? You got, f what, four digits and four digits? You know, Coach Anderson, how do you do that? I got you, man, I got you, watch this. Before we continue, just wanna take a quick moment to thank you for watching this video. And all I ask is that you please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. That way more people just like you can see these videos. But on top of that, if you're looking for more ways to practice the right way and raise your score with guidance without stressing, then I really wholly 100% recommend my ASVAB All Access program. The program, long story short, helps you watch, practice, and master every topic from the word knowledge to paragraph comprehension, arithmetic reasoning, math knowledge, general science. It's there and it's designed to help you succeed with practicing the right way. So with that said, check out the link in the description to see how it all works because you're gonna have ways to learn in every way that you prefer. And you get my guidance and my support all the way until you pass. So don't hesitate, stop feeling nervous and being anxious and letting yourself feel that way when there's a solution waiting right here for you. Check out the link in the description, that way you see how it works, and then reach out to me if you have any questions about it. Let's get back to raising our scores. This is how mental math works. Mental math uses what you already know and uses what's called convenience. That's all mental math is, is basically making it more convenient to do the problem. Watch this, and when I show you this, comment on this video letting me know what you thought of this, because I, I promise you I'm gonna blow your mind. So here we go. You got 49.99 and 34.99. What if I thought about it like this? What if I said, hmm, 49.99 is awfully close to $50, true or false, right? That's just a penny. That is just one penny. If I just added one penny, I can go ahead and add one penny to make that $50. And again, this is happening in my head. This is happening in my head. So I'm saying $49.99, nah, 50. I'm looking over here, $34.99, nah, let me just add another penny. Let me just add another penny and make that $35. So now that I have to add these two together, isn't that easy now? Isn't that easy? What's 50 bucks plus 35 bucks? Well, that's $85. So in my head, I turn $49.99, $34.99, $50, $35, that's $85. Great. So that's $85. But here's what needs to happen. You estimated here. What we did is we estimated. We added a penny to each one, again, to make it convenient. So by making this convenient, now we need to go ahead and compensate for that. We need to make up for that convenience. How? Simple. We added a penny here and added a penny there. What does that mean that we need to make up for? What that means is we need to make up for the two pennies, two cents. We need to take away the two cents that we brought on. And so 
$85 minus two cents is all you have to do. And I think we know how to subtract a penny, two pennies. I think we know. So $85 minus two cents or two pennies, that's going to give us a final answer of $84.98 with my big old head in the way. So there it is. And again, this is happening in your head. So I'm showing you this, the process, nice and slow because I want you to see what's going on. But really on the test, when you actually see something like this, this should be automatic because you'll say, okay, round up to a dollar, round up to a dollar, add them to make it easy, then take away those two pennies, done. As opposed to going like this. Okay, 49, let me go ahead and do this here. 49.99 plus 34.99. 9 plus 9 is 18, carry the 1. 9 plus 9 is 18, carry the 1 is 19. Okay, 9 plus 4, that's going to be 13, carry the... You see how long that's taking? You don't need to do this. You don't need to do this. You can just go ahead and use mental math to make your life so much easier. So that's number one here. And that's just for addition. There are strategies you can use for multiplication and division as well, as well as subtraction. So let's take a look at this second one here. This second one here, uh, 273 minus 148. So that first strategy that I showed you for the money problem, that's what's called estimation and compensation. So that's what I call it. I mean, you can see it called different things in the math world. But for me, um, when I discovered this for myself, I called it estimation and compensation. This over here. This is what's called, or the strategy I'm going to use, is called splitting and gluing. So if you've seen my mental math strategies before, uh, this is my favorite one. Splitting and gluing is literally this. All about convenience. All about convenience. And so what does this do? The problem is that you don't want to spend too much time working with big digits. And so instead of working with big digits, two big digits, you can split it up into not just one big operation, but maybe two or three really small, really easy, really convenient operations. What do I mean by that? Well, what I mean by that is this, my party people, I got you. So 148, 148 is the same thing as saying 148, right? Am I right or am I wrong? Right, that's correct. 148 is 140 and eight. And so what we're going to do with that is we're going to go ahead in our heads, in our heads, I'm going to go ahead and subtract 100 first to make that 173 by, then I'll go ahead and subtract 40 to make that more convenient for myself. Okay, so that'll be 133, goodbye. And then lastly, I just have to subtract 8. And that's it. Minus 8. And again, this is happening in your head. This is why mental math is awesome because you know how to subtract by 100, by 40, by 8, and you're just combining the three to make it a total of subtracting by 148. So you know this. It's just a different way of rearranging how you think. That's why mental math is so powerful because anybody can do it. So here, 133 minus 8 gives us 125. And there we have it. So the hardest part about this, really, is knowing what 133 minus 8 is. That's the hardest part. That's really the hardest part. Because again, you can subtract by 100 nice and easy. You can subtract by 40 nice and easy. The last digit, maybe you got to think about it a little more. But with practice, you'll be solid at that. You'll be absolutely solid. And so now that we're halfway through, we got two more to go. We got multiplication and division here. I want to show you these strategies as well. And my ass bad part of people, just like this free video that you're watching, I have more free materials for you. And there's no excuse for you not to get them. I have a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every single mistake. And on top of that, I have a free class on Zoom once a week, every single week for two hours. So imagine that. You got more free materials than just this YouTube video right over here. Let's keep pushing forward. Sign up right now and I'll see you in the next class. Let's get started. So here we go. 58 times 7. So remember how I just talked about splitting and gluing? So split and glue works for multiplication as well and division. It works for addition, subtraction, all of it. It works for all of it. And again, splitting and gluing is all about splitting the number up into easier operations. So splitting a big number into easier numbers. And what did I do last time? Look at that. Check out the pattern here. 148, I turned it into 140 and 8. I split it into the digits. 
So check out over here. I'm gonna split the 58 times seven into the digits. I'm gonna split the 58 into 50 and eight. I'm gonna split that into 50 and eight. And how does that work? In my head, in my head. I'm gonna multiply the seven, so let me use a different color here. I'm gonna split the seven into the 50 and into the eight. So seven times 50, right there, and seven times eight, right there. So this is just a play on what's called the distributive property. You've heard the distributive property before, right? You've heard of that. That's what this is based on. You can use the distributive property to make your life easier. It's called splitting and gluing. So seven times 50, what's that gonna be my party people? In your head, seven times 50, 350. Because seven times five is 35, but since it's 50, 350. And then when you look at the eight, booyah my party people, watch this. Seven times eight, well, that's 56. Great. And so we can do both of those in our heads nice and easy, and guess what now? You turned a problem like 58 times seven into in an easier problem, 350 plus 56. 350 plus 50, 400, then bring the six is 406, done. And again, it's gonna be much, much faster in real time. Much faster in real time. I'm showing you the strategies and I'm walking you through. That way you can go ahead and do it faster. But I have to take my time doing this, right? So one more time before we move on to the division one, then show you split and glue there. Watch this. So here, basically seven times 58, I do seven times 50, 350. Seven times eight, 56. 350 plus 50 plus six, 406. Done. You can do that in your head before someone else has the opportunity to even finish writing that. That's the great thing about mental math. Next, let's go to 378 divided by three with division. Again, we're going all four operations today in today's class. So I really hope you can make it. And so here we are, 378 divided by three. Split and glue, it works. So what do I mean by this? Splitting and gluing with division is slightly trickier, but it's all about knowing your multiplication tables. Why? Because I'm gonna split the 378 into numbers that I know, that I know are divisible by three. Because you know, it's hard to see if 378 is divisible by three. It's hard to tell really right away. But what I do know is that I can split the 378, I can split that into 300, because I know 300 is divisible by three. What's left when I do that? Just 78. Okay, that's a little tough, right? That might be a little tough, but try to split the 78 up into numbers you know are divisible by three. What numbers are those gonna be? It's gonna be specifically, I know 60 is divisible by three, and I know that if I take away 60 from 78, that's gonna be 18 left, and I know 18 is divisible by three. So I can split the 378 into three convenient numbers, and I can do this in my head before anybody else can do this. Why would you wanna do that when you can just do that in your head? 300 divided by three, 100. 60 divided by three, 20. 18 divided by three, six. 326 done. And there's my answer. And there's my answer. So there it is, my party people. I'm telling you, mental math is honestly, quite honestly, what everybody should be committing to learning. And that's how serious I am about this, because I'm telling you, you can save time on word problems by spending less time on the actual calculating. Once you know what to do, it's a great feeling to know that you know you can do it and you know you got the right answer because you had the right plan. And so with that said, my party people, I am Coach Anderson, and stay tuned for a couple more seconds to see the full details of the ASVAB program that I offer. That way you can raise your score without the stress and get the job you deserve. So with that said, my party people, I'll taste the ASVAB. I'll see you soon. And so we both know this video just helped you with your test anxiety by just a little bit. And to keep lowering your test anxiety and keep raising your confidence, that's what my ASVAB All Access program is for. The link's right up here. Click it, watch the video on how it works, and you'll see exactly why thousands of my students have raised their scores and gotten the jobs they want. So click there, watch the video, and sign up to raise your score. I'll see you soon.